I was studying from the Holy Quran yesterday about the birth of Jesus. And I don't know who has studied the Holy Quran. I, I know um, one of my followers, Hayere, really is. Uh, he's studied more than I have. I'm not a Quranic scholar in any way or form. I just try to read sometimes so I can be enlightened. I'm a born-again Christian preacher, but I acknowledge the Quran. There's a lot of wisdom in that book and a lot of inspiration. Don't listen to what they're telling you. And I'll show you some of the wisdom today. Don't listen to what they're telling you. Hmm. According to the Quran, Quran 1917, it says, Mary screened herself from them. She sent out our spirit and he appeared before her in the form of a man in all respects. This is talking about when the angel appeared to Mary. It goes on to say, I want to take you a bit further. Uh, Quran 347, it says, Oh my Lord, how will I have a son when no man has touched me? He said so, so it will be, for God created what he wills. When he has decreed something, he says, he says so, and it will be. Okay? I want to take you a bit further. If you read Quran 1924, it says, Grieve not, your Lord has provided you a stream of clear water under you. And shake the trunk of a palm tree towards you, it will let fall fresh dates upon you. Now, this is the story of Mary from the Quran. Quranic scholars have also established that Virgin Mary concept. Yes, it is Quranic. That Jesus was born um, the way we know it. Yes, the Quran also explains it like that. But you see, the Quran, in this particular verse, says Mary was under a tree, a date palm tree. And if she shook the tree, fresh dates will fall. Dates ripen between the end of August, September and October, and into a little bit of November. This is more accurate a description of the of the time Jesus was born than what we are taught with the 25th of December. Because the 25th of December was never biblical, it was political. And we didn't we made the mistake of not holding our leaders politically accountable then. We are beginning idolatry now. Because we failed to check them then, we will check them now. Look at someone beside you and tell me, we will check them now. You see, instead of your telling you that the Muslims are your brothers, just the way Ishmael was Isaac's brother, so we can have peace and everybody can practice their faith in peace they tell you that they are your enemy that they worship idols you want to hear about idolatry the greatest form of idolatry is the one we practice not anyone else in the quran it is clear god sent angel gabriel to me so allah is god you don't like it is your business